Effect of midnight, life gets a little more restricted in Manitoba, but far from shut down. You won't be able to have friends over, but can still meet up on a patio for a drink. And kids will keep going to school. Despite concerns from many, Manitoba isn't going far enough. In nine days, 12 positive cases occurred. Sarah Carroll's nine-year-old son is recovering from a case of COVID. She says he got at school. Definitely starting to see those early signs of transmission. So I would like you know, the province to recognize that um, and be a little more proactive. While Manitoba's premier and chief public health officer say the province is on the brink of a third wave spike, they insist a full lockdown can still be avoided. So if we all do our part, this very well could be our last strict orders. Vaccines are helping, but won't be enough. A group of doctors is calling for provinces to adopt more Nova Scotia-style lockdowns. Those shutdowns become less frequent if you use that strategy, in my mind. Quebec finally seeing better numbers is loosening up a little, reducing curfew hours, reopening most primary schools. Well, I think it, it, it's related to, to these measures. So I'm, I'm happy to see that uh, we're doing better for this uh, third wave. They're prudent, I think, provided that uh, we understand that it's still possible for things to change on a dime. In Alberta, more big numbers, marking its second highest level of active cases since the pandemic began. Okay. Oh, look up. <laughs> Meanwhile, a little help for Ontario. Taking flight from St. John's this morning, a team of nine Newfoundland and Labrador nurses and doctors, including the Premier's wife. Well, when an opportunity comes to help your own country, you know, I'll raise my hand for that. More help could be on the way. Newfoundland and Labrador and Manitoba are two provinces that say they're looking at their resources and their numbers to see what help could come next. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.